Okay, going to look at this activity 30 and post it on YouTube. So let's start off with um, how high with will the ball be after two seconds? We've got a, an N shape plabora here. Start location will be at that's when time equals zero, and this is the height, and then time whatever this might be, I'll call it T final. <clears throat> so I can see that there's a T equals zero will be a solution, and then there's some sort of other positive T value. Um, and we're asked to find a value at, after t two seconds, which for argument's sake, let's see, is here. Don't know where it is exactly, but good as any. So to find that, all I'm going to do is substitute it in the two into the formula. When you do your solutions, write out the formula first. Then do your substitution. So twelve times two, take away five times four, gives me four meters. Part B. At what times after the ball is thrown will it be at a height 5 meters? Well, uh, <laughs> I've run out of space here, but let's say that's uh, going to be at two locations. Um, so we're looking for them. So all we're going to do is let S equal five meters and solve for t so five twelve t minus five t squared now I'll rearrange this um, into a quadratic form so five t squared take away twelve t plus 5 equals 0. It doesn't strike me that, that I can factorize that. 5, give it a go, 5t, t, I'm looking for 1 and 5 here, or 5 and 1 really. 5 will end up producing 25 it's not going to work. So, it's no simple factors. I'm going to have to use um, the quadratic formula to solve this. So, T equals minus B, write out your formula first. B squared minus 4AC divided by 2a. Um, so b is the minus 12, so minus minus 12 plus or minus minus 12 squared, put that all in brackets, minus 4, a is 5, And C is 5. Let's work out the determinant first. 2 times 5. And we'll just tidy up those other bits. So we're going to have 12 plus or minus. 
square root of very important you put in <coughs> bracket minus 12 close bracket squared and not minus 12 squared your calculator might misinterpret that 4 times 5 times 5 is 44 divided by 10 so t 1 equals the first one will be 12 take away root 44 divided by 10 is it saying how many decimal places they want these answers to? I'll work to one decimal place. 12 take away 44. Divide by 10. Actually, I'll work to more than that. Um, so I'll work to free sig fig. So twelve plus root forty four divided by ten one point so that's three sig fig. 18636 fig. Okay, so that's B. What uh, after what time will the ball return to its start position? So no, strictly speaking, uh, the ball will uh, not be at zero. The center of the ball will not be at zero because we've got the ball here. It'll be sitting on the ground. So where we've defined our axis will be at that location. So the ball then has gone up in the air and then it come back down. And this position here is where S equals zero. Looks like a car, doesn't it? Beetle car. Cool. Uh, so we want to find when s equals zero, initial and final final location when s equals zero meters. So that's zero equals. 12t minus 5t squared. So I'm going to factor the t. So I'm going to have 12 take away 5t. So therefore, one solution is when t equals 0. That's when the initial is. And the other solution will be when 12, it's always good to write it out, 12 minus 5t equals 0. Therefore, t equals 12 divided by 5. 12 divided by 5. 2.4 seconds. Rightio. Uh, part D. By completing the square in the expression S, find the maximum height. So the nice thing about completing squares is it tells you. Um, what does it tell you? Um, and tell you the position. Just by reading off the function, you can see the position of the vertex. Um, you know that the thing inside your bracket can't go, uh, uh, can't become um, negative. 
so that's always going to be uh, have a range of zero to something so it should should also tell you the height of your solution um, does completing squares tell you anything else when you do them not off the top of my head okay so the thing with completing squares however is that um, we really want to do them so that they're in the form of let's say x squared plus put in some numbers here so 2x plus 4 say uh, um, what complete and square does is, is is it looks at this term here this x plus a and then squares it and then you can see you get x squared you get x times a twice and then you're gonna get a squared so your quadratic we can always write in the form of that the first term don't really want the brackets but the first term in front of the x squared is 1 yeah so you will remember that x squared is the same as saying 1 times x squared so the reason why I'm saying 1 times x squared is because there's always a coefficient in front of the x in this case it's 1 since it's 1 we don't write it there don't bother so I can rewrite this expression as x squared plus 2ax equals x plus I'm going to have a lot of space there x plus a squared <coughs> take away the a squared so if I see an expression like that I can replace it with this expression but this pr is predicated I like that word predicated on the fact that this is a 1 and unfortunately when we look at our function Let's rearrange it so that uh, the t squared's in the front. We've got minus 5t squared plus 12t. So we seem to have an expression that's not far off from this. First thing we would need to say is let um, x equals t. This has got a 1 in front of it, so I need to get rid of this minus 5. How I'm going to do that is by factoring it out. So minus 5, open a bracket, right? And then we have t squared. Um, now 12 divided by minus 5 will give me minus 12 divided by 5 and we just check that by multiplying out the bracket and seeing if we get our previous result so minus 5 times t squared equals that yeah minus 5 minus 5 times minus 12 divided by 5 will end up as plus 12 because the minuses cancel okay so this is now looking a lot more like this so we've got to say next that let 2a equal minus 12 over 5 so let's work out a got a terms here so a equals minus 12 over 10 which will become minus 6 over 5 
Right, so if I let my x equals t and my a equals minus 6 over 5, um, I can then replace this with this expression. So what we're going to do is take this expression here and substitute it into the brackets here. Right? So we factored out the minus 5. So the first thing I see is I want to write that. Now when I see the x, I want to write t. So let's put t there. When I see the plus a, I want to write minus 6 over 5. What do I want to do next? Close the bracket. Square it. What do I want to do next? Minus. Then uh, open a bracket. And when you substitute numbers in the negative, it's always good to put them in brackets. Helps you with your bid mass. So here a is minus 6 over 5 squared right so we need to tidy this up a bit minus 5 open bracket t minus 6 over 5 all squared minus 36 over 25. Minus 6 times minus 6 is plus 36. Okie dokie. Now I want to find, by completing, find the maximum height. So I don't know, maybe a good point now to get rid of my minus 5. So, uh, because I'm going to now multiply throughout the bracket minus 5, and that will give me, this will, will become a positive, so I'm going to write it first. So I'm going to have minus 36 divided by 25 times by minus 5, give me a plus number, and that would be 36 over 5, minus 5, and I keep the brackets inside, t take away 6 divided by 5 squared. Now the thing about this bracket here is that whatever t equals, t can go from minus infinity to uh, plus infinity. Whatever happens, however, this number here will always be positive. So I'm always going to get 36 divided by 5 take away minus 5 times a positive number. So it follows that the maximum height will be given at um, uh, this value here. Therefore, S max equals 36 over 5, which uh, let's do that in decimals. 7.2 meters. Okie dokie. Um, so the other th thing about when you complete squares is the, uh, the other nice thing is it tells you where that occurs. So the uh, the smallest number we can take away, if this is always positive, will be when this equals zero. So we can say at t take away 6 over 5 equals zero. Therefore, that's t 6 divided by 5 at 1.2 seconds. Not asked to find that, but um, I don't think we've asked to find that. Are we? Height, find the maximum height, that's it, yeah. 
So that's the nice thing about completing squares is that you know that you're producing a number here that's always going to be a, uh, a positive real. Um, it will equal zero when um, when we reach the maximum or the minimum. In this case, it's a minus, so we're producing an N shape. And uh, this will be the maximum value. Just read it off <coughs> the function. Okay, I don't know if that helps, but um, it takes me... Uh, uh, it shows me applying um, completing the squares for a um, real kind of problem so it might be helpful <laughs>